Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As requested, today I'll be showing you how to install Resurrection Remix Marshmallow based off the latest version of 6.01, or the last one, which was the MTC20L. And this is a really cool ROM that I used to use a lot back in the day, and I recommend to anyone who really wants a fully customizable experience. Maybe not as stable, maybe not as fast, uh, I don't know. Well, you can flash it for yourself and check it out. And But from my personal experience, I really love this ROM, just mainly due to the fact that you could personalize it so much through themes, uh, navigation bar tweaks, it's just tweaks on tweaks on tweaks. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then I think Resurrection Remix should serve you quite well. So we need to go over and download a few things here, and we need to check uh, one or two things as well on our phone before we begin. So here is the official XDA thread for Resurrection Remix for the Nexus 6P. Now if we scroll down, there are instructions here on how to flash it and all that, but I guess this is a video companion to these words on the screen. Now of course you'll want to actually read the thread if you have um, any questions, things like that. Search it if you like, if you have uh, questions like that. And pretty much our downloads are right here. So I'm going to go over the downloads and then we'll go over the checking things uh, later on. So first off you're going to need to download the ROM which can be done through this basket build link or this Android file host link. I'm pretty sure they link to the same thing which is 5.7.4. Now that is the latest version as we can see here for Elise Marshmallow. They have a NuGo folder here and I'm guessing that is I guess beta builds and all that. So you can choose a, Resur a Resurrection Remix Marshmallow or Nuga, which is quite interesting. I'll be showing you how to flash the Nuga version, sorry, the Marshmallow version, and I might work on the Nuga version perhaps uh, in another video. So I'll, show I'll be showing you how to flash the Marshmallow version of this. So download the latest one, which is 5.74. Yes, I didn't realize there was a Nuga folder here as well, but we'll be downloading the Marshmallow version. I've already done that, so we'll have to stick with it. And next up, we also want to download the appropriate Google Apps. Now I'll go to opengaps.org, a very good website. And what you need to do is select ARM64, and then you want to select 610. But if you're downloading or flashing the NuGo version, you want to select, I think it's 7.0 that it's based off of. If not, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 7.0, but it could be 7.1. So you might need to look around for that. But otherwise, uh, the variant, you can choose whichever one you like. I personally like to choose Mini because it doesn't include all of Google's apps, but does include the Play Store. Well, all of them include the Play Store pretty much uh, from Pico onwards. And Stock, if you'd like a similar experience to actually having flashed the factory image, so you get all the uh, Google, say, Google Drive, Google Docs, spread uh, sheets and all that, and newsstand, things like that, you get all of them. On stock, so I'm going to select the mini version. Make sure it's for 610 if you're flashing the marshmallow version, and I'm 64 if we are. Oh, that is our phone. I'm going to click this red download button down here, and that'll download our Google Apps package. Now, last thing we need to consider is whether or not we need to download the appropriate vendor image for the marshmallow-based version of Resurrection Remix. Now, to test this or to see. Uh, the latest Marshmallow uh, build of Resurrection Remix was based off the MTC20L build of Android 6. So to check this, uh, pretty much you have to compare uh, this version, so the MTC20L, with the one that you can find in the About Device section on your phone. So I'm going to go over to our device right now. Uh, this is running Pure Nexus, but it's the same as it's the same way of checking. So go down to About Phone, and what it might not have is the vendor version, but it will just have build number for I think stock the stock builds of Android. So if you're in a stock ROM, it just have build number. Now that is the build number just for Pure Nexus. What you want to look at is the vendor version. Now if you're on like the stock ROM, like I said, the build number should be what you'll be going off of. But it's safe to flash the vendor image again anyway. So you can see I'm on the N4F26J vendor image, uh, vendor version, and that is for the latest version of Nuga. But since this is a Marshmallow ROM, I'll need to flash the appropriate Marshmallow vendor image, which they graciously provided as a standalone download here but you can easily extract this from a factory image if you have one lying around like I do so be sure to download the appropriate vendor image if you need to so once you have all those three files downloaded and copied to your device I have it down here all you need to do now is reboot into TWRP and we'll sort this out so from my knowledge uh, Resurrection Remix should come rooted already 
and there's nothing that we need to download. I guess you could even flash exposed if you like since we're going back to Marshmallow, but uh, it's not really recommended since we're on a custom ROM with uh, different framework modifications and all that. It's not very nice for exposed sometimes. So to get started, I'm just going to flash the, you know, just Resurrection Remix, the Google Apps, and the vendor image. So we do that using TWRP, no need for Fastboot or even Flashfire. So we're going to tap, or you could use Flashfire if you wanted to, but I'll be using TWRP. So I'm going to reboot into the recovery now. This should already be loaded with TWRP. So I assume you have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed already. So that is kind of the basic level that we're going off of. So once this reboots into TWRP, we shall have a look at the, the process here. So what I'm going to do is make a backup of what I have currently. Of course, that is entirely optional, but I guess it's just a little easier to return to where you are or where you were uh, prior to flashing Resurrection Remix with all your apps intact in that. Now, I forgot to mention that if you do want to do or make a backup of your current ROM in TWRP, you will need to remove your screen lock. So if you have a passcode, pattern, or password, you need to remove that and set it to swipe. Otherwise, you're going to have problems logging back into your device. Or say that your passcode, password, or PIN is incorrect, although it is probably right. So that is uh, something worth mentioning before we go and make a backup. So in this case, we're going to start making a backup once you've got that in your mind. We're going to tap on backup here. And with the current selection selected, uh, that is all you need, that is fine. I already have a backup of this, but if you don't and you want to make one, just swipe to backup and you'll be able to backup everything here. I'm just going to cancel this because I already have a backup made quite recently. So once you have a backup made, you can definitely copy it over to your device for safekeeping, but you can leave it on your device. It doesn't really matter, but to be safe, you might want to make a backup of that TWRP backup on your computer somewhere. But once you got that done, and we have, and we double check that our files exist when we tap on install, and I'll go back, you can see that we have our zip files there, and you might be thinking, hold on, we're missing our vendor image. Not to worry. If you tap on install image, that button down there, it'll kind of filter in the images image files instead and we'll see our vendor image right there. So I'm going to tap on install zip again to bring it back to its normal view and I'm going to go back. Now that is just to check that our files are there on our device. Now what I'm going to do now is do a factory reset. So I'm going to tap on wipe and then swipe to factory reset. Now that is all you need. Now once that is done, you're going to hit back, hit the back arrow again. Now we're going to tap and install our ROM. But I think what I'm going to do first is flash the vendor image. Uh, just for a precaution. So I'm going to tap on install image, that button down there, and then tap on the vendor image, and then tap on vendor image, as in selecting the partition on where this image will be flashed. And then we're going to swipe to confirm flash. This will take a little bit since it's a little big, but that is fine. And once we've done that, we're going to go back. We're going to go back again, tap on install zip, and then tap on resurrection remix M or N depending on which one you flashed. But I'm going to stick with M here just to keep things a little bit simple. So this will flash Resurrection Remix for uh, based on Marshmallow on your device, which is uh, pretty nifty. So this is, will take maybe roughly three to four minutes, I'm hoping. And then once that is done, we're going to flash our Google Apps. And after that, we'll reboot, and I guess we'll have a quick look at some of the uh, functions and features that you can find on Resurrection Remix for Marshmallow. So I guess I'm going to fast forward this until we're finished, and then we're going to flash the Google Apps. Okie dokie, so we just finished flashing Resurrection Remix and that went quicker than I thought. So we're going to go back now and we're going to flash the Google Apps package. I'm going to swipe to confirm flash as well. This one will probably take a little bit longer depending on which package you chose. Uh, that being the larger the package, the longer it will probably take to install. So right now it's going to install our Google Apps. I'm going to fast forward this until it finished. And then after that, I'm going to reboot and we'll see uh, what the latest version of Resurrection Remix Marshmallow will bring to us. Okay, so now that our Google Apps have finished flashing, we can now tap on Reboot System and, well, in the new version of TWRP, it will ask you if you'd like to install the official TWRP app. And, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. So I'm going to tap on Do Not Install. You can install if you like, it won't really change anything except add a new app to the system directory of your ROM. But now uh, we can wait for our phone to boot up. Probably fast forward this. I always like watching the boot animations as you know, it's different for every ROM, and some of them look very, very nice. So I guess I'll be waiting and fast-forwarding this till we get to the setup screen, and then from there, we'll take a look. 
Uh, okay, it's the same as last time that I saw this. That's fine. I'll let you know if I have any problems booting up and hopefully this will probably take four to, I would say four to six minutes on this one. Last time it was the same, so, or about the same time as that. So I'll wait for this and we'll see what it's like when we boot up. Okie dokie, so we're just finishing up booting as we can see down here and well the length of that would have taken a lot longer if we flashed a larger a more complete package of Google Apps. So this is our normal setup screen, um, it's defaulted to English Canada for some reason but uh, English Australia will do and this is our the good old marshmallow thingy mabob. Now I think this one you can probably skip it, if it doesn't work I'll just zoom through it. Okay, we've skipped the setup wizard, that's a little trick that used to be available, now not really. Only on some ROMs and all that. I think it's something to do with the base of the ROM, but um, I'm not entirely sure. So right now we have the Google Now Launcher installed, and we also have, I'm going to call it Trebuchet, just so it sounds fancy. I'm not sure if that's how you actually say it, but uh, that is what it is. And that is our Sanjay Mod Launcher. Whoops, not not anymore. But yeah, here are, here are our apps. We have a few things here. We also have our theme engine. Uh, we can use Synergy Mod theme engines here. And what is this? Oh, I better turn off mobile data. Okay, you can see just booting up the ROM will use 6 megabytes. So yeah, we have our Synergy Mod theme uh, engine built into this. We also have Omni Switch, which is uh, pretty nifty. I'll, I'll actually give it a little demo of this. So when we enable this, uh, when we press the... Oh no, this is... Okay, I'm thinking of something else, but uh, if we slide, that's what it looks like. But yeah, I'm actually thinking of something else, and that is probably in the settings here. So let's uh, go down and have a look. So this is Resurrection Remix. Welcome. Yes. So we're in configurations. Uh, one of my favorites is one of the recent one here. So yeah, a lot of customization to do here. And I think the Slim Recents is probably one of my favorite ones. So when we tap our Recents, it comes over to the side instead. And I really liked using this. So yeah, that is uh, one thing I wanted to show off. Uh, there are a couple others, but there's just so many here to just dive through. Things like status bar, uh, kind of generic. Like, I think the navigation bar has a few more things, such as uh, pulse, and that uh, reflects the, I guess, the equalizer of, in, of what music you're playing. So if you like playing music and you like looking down at your navigation bar, this is something that you want to enable. And there are many, many different settings for this, which is a very cool. They had this on the, I think it was Dirty Unicorns ROM as well. So that is uh, something else. And yeah, there's so much. I can't really go over this, all of it. Otherwise this thing will be like a 30 minute video. But this is one of the things I do when I get a ROM. I have a look at the configurations and settings, tweaks that I can do, things to make it look very cool. Um, let's see, animations is something I also like to uh, toss around and all that, so I think the Cylon one was my favorite. It slides in and then goes down, I think. Yeah, one of my favorite ones, yeah. So animations and all that, very cool things to mess around with. I think there was like a built-in night mode somewhere. Yep. Look at that. So yeah, if you want a stock dark theme, uh, that is how you're going to get it. It only affects, I think, some applications. Not entirely sure which ones. It looks like it's just the settings. So yeah, the settings can be dark if you like that. So yeah, there are our Google Apps here. We've got the Play Store working as well. And uh, let's have a look at root access, just real quick. It's either it's either here or we need to enable it in Developer Options. Let's have a look. Yeah, root root access apps only. So uh, we've already have root access. So I'm going to open up the kernel, it wasn't auditor, it was some other name, but yeah, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that. And this is what it will look like when an app asks for root access. So we can tap on remember uh, my choice, tap on it, and then tap on allow. And that is how uh, you can access, I guess, the root management part of things. Now I'm not sure if something opens up in the settings. Uh, after you enable, okay, here we go, manage root accesses, and that is where you will be able to revoke or do other things to do with root access. So 
here we are more options that are very cool that I don't have nearly enough time to do the virgin so there it is uh, the resurrection remix from at least on based off of marshmallow see everything works and we also have that vendor image that we flashed wherever it is and maybe it doesn't show that but that's fine so yeah thank you guys very much for watching this video I guess it's not really a review review but I really like I really liked resurrection remix but I, I've kind of stuck more towards stock and all that or even pure nexus uh, for some I guess it just this stuff just doesn't really have that much of an impact on me anymore so I guess but if you really like the stuff I really would recommend this ROM out for people who like to customize I'll probably be taking a look at the NuGo version of this in a later video maybe one soon uh, so yeah stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one